Again, I'm Ramon, and well, the first thing I want to talk about is just this project I've been working on, and there might be other interested people. It's uh, I'm not I'm not working on Bitcoin. It just it has to do with Bitcoin. Um, for those not familiar with Bitcoin, who who hasn't has not heard of it before? Okay, so Bitcoin is is a virtual currency that's not controlled by any like one entity. So I know you have probably have a lot of questions like who says how, how much one is worth, but if you're interested, you could look at the site, newscoins.org. Okay. Um, the video is actually really nice. But if I, I, okay. um, so what I'm working on is basically a payment server it's called BitC. So if you have apps where you want to accept Bitcoin, it's not working yet, but um, this would be probably one of the ones you could use. There are like, um, there are companies like BitPay. It's like a PayPal for Bitcoin if you want to accept it on your site and <coughs> not worry about um, setting up the server or anything, you can use something like this. But since I'm talking to Frog anyway, um, if you have projects or you want to accept Bitcoin, uh, this would be one of the ones you could use. And the main idea is we don't want to hold coins on the server. So you could just set up an address and say once you get that money, forward it to some other wallet or account. because. Uh, right, if kung may kung na breach yung server, you don't want to have like a lot of bit or even just a little, since a bitcoin is like one hundred twenty dollars, right? Um, so it will forward it immediately to other servers, and and if you're if let's say your host your you want to pay your your users immediately, you can say okay, I'm gonna take like three percent. So for that three percent to me, and then the ninety-seven percent goes to the user's address automatically. Um, so this is still made up of of another gem that makes it makes working with the Bitcoin um, daemon because you have to start a little client that you talk to and say send this Bitcoin here and make an address for me. This one makes it feel a little bit more like Ruby, what you're familiar with, like Active Record, actually. So you could say wallet dot new, parang and then uh, accounts dot new, uh, you know, things like that. And if you want to go even a little lower, uh, yung, uh, are you familiar with database cleaner, that gem? Mm -hmm. So if you run tests, in between tests, sometimes you need to clean your database. This is, just think of this as like a database cleaner for your Bitcoin clients. Because the, the tests or the, the, the code actually talks to the client and say, okay, you sent money to this address. But in my next test, I want to be clean again. So this one, you can, you can run it before every spec because it'll clean that network. It's like a, your own local Bitcoin network. It's not the one that the whole world is using. Um, yeah, in love. So if you're interested to to have on this with me, let me know. Um, yeah. So that's that's that. Any questions? Yeah. Any license on this? I MIT. What about you? Have generate ng uh, MIT? Ng uh, uh, bundler MIT ata. MIT. But that's not working yet. So, okay. is it here? Well, I'll put an MIT license. <laughs> uh, okay, other questions? Okay, thanks. Um, so, the last topic, well, for now, is. I don't know how to make this full screen. 
nag-email ako sa group um, in case some of you didn't see that. Uh, I, I proposed having half nights um, because recently Rad and I and Steve we went to RailsCon and then one of the lightning talks, lightning talks there was about cloning Seattle RB. Seattle RB is, is a user group like this in Seattle in the States and they're very successful. They've come up with a lot of popular gems and this guy who was giving the talk was giving some tips on how to like copy that. And one of them, which I thought I wanted to have, uh, is this thing called a Hack Nights. And that's essentially, um, I was thinking every, th every Thursday, except this regular meetup, same time, so we don't have to remember another time, anywhere near you, I understand this. But like some of you are based in you know, Puerto Rico, and, and that was uh, I don't know somewhere like down south. So just email the group, and then you can meet up amongst yourselves. And then the requirements: just a laptop and a project you can pair. Um, I I'm thinking half the time I'm there, I'll work on my own. I look for someone to pair with me. The other half, I'll pair with them on their project. If it's, in, if it's in a coffee shop, chef or KKB, uh, unless it's to my mommy. Um, and if you're the only one that shows up, you still have something to do. Right? So, what do you think? Anything else we should uh, add? Or we'll see how this goes. Uh, the project with the open source project are. Or if you have a business ka, or you have a media or you want to client Let's work if that's what you like doing <laughs> late at night. Yeah, anything I guess. It'll be a, a good place to meet people and if you're getting into movie and you want to learn and you're curious about pairing, it's better if, instead of just asking, like, hey, can you help me fix this problem? I don't know what's going on here. It's a lot faster doing the body. You just go there and bring your laptop and let's bear it. Yeah. So the first um, I was thinking could be here next week. Same time. Yeah. If no one is gonna come, well, I'll, I'll set up something to do. So okay, now. <laughs> uh, suggest the Ortigas based folks. Yeah, I guess. guess this I place is too far to <laughs> go <from> here <laughs> for you guys to go here regularly. So maybe you can run another session in Ortigas. Yeah. Tapos may nag-email, pwede ba, like, ah, like, I'm based in Antipolo, may half on Antipolo. <laughs> or hang out. <coughs> yeah, hang out. Although, I, you'll have to figure out how you're gonna pair remotely. And, and once you figure that out, and you like the setting, you can give a presentation. Like, the you have to learn that too. Uh, yeah, any, any other suggestions, uh, questions? Thank you. You want to say something? I For hiring. Not everyone is, but uh, for those who are interested but shy in applying to Logica, I suggest just go ahead and apply and let's pair and you get to know us, we get to know you. Even if we don't end up hiring you, you will learn from that pairing session and we'll give you tips on how to get better after that. And you'll get to know us and you already know if you want to work with us. So just apply. Even if you think you're not 
Uh, you're not good enough. Just apply. <laughs> <laughs> he won't laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> nice folks. So, can I eat it? Or do you want to eat it? spot in just in case you guys have like, like you guys have a little talk you wanted to to give. Like a lightning talk. Pwede. Yes, pwede, pwede. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I need to go now. <laughs> 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 I am guys like pizza.